afternoon Stop. Stop. Who did the enchanted list of an evil fairy queen? <laughs> Hamster say it. We are the guardians of the enchanted fairy so we hear right to grab um we hear right to come in to the volume.
Okay? And we're going to start with the person in the gray suit. Tell them, say your first name and tell them who you play. Who are you? Okay, and next person? My name is Next person? My name is Blake and I play the Hawk. Next person? My name is Michael and I play Hawk 3. <laughs> and next person? Hi, I'm Maya and I play the Evil Fairy Queen. Okay, and the next, per next person to her? So, Johnny, take your, take your mask off so they can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next person. My name is Evan Hampshire Ninja One. Okay, next person. My name is Cassette and I play the butterfly. Next person. Hi, my name is Presley and I play Wolf One. Next person. Hi, my name is Joyce and I play the Wolf Pack Leader. And the next person. is my protege. I started with her in third grade. She's now in her late 20s. I won't tell you how old I am, but anyway, <laughs> we, we're, we're constantly working together. And what I did was I asked your son or your daughter, and I said, what do you want to be? And whatever they had wanted to be, I then told Sarah, who decided to come together with this story. It's a little wild, but it, it, it allowed them to be who they wanted to be. And the unique thing about this is, this is the beginning. So for all of you who, if this is your first time with me, this is, this is something that you're going to really start seeing more of, if you keep having them sign up with me. But as well as the fact of being here at Quest Academy, because it's amazing what they wind up doing uh, each time they move up to a different grade level. And the more practice they have here, when they get ready to go out into that business world, they'll be ready. So I'm telling you, it's amazing what they can do, and to sit right here because this is a this is a this is a stage, but we're close together, and they're not intimidated by that, and that's one of the most unique things for a child at this age to be able to do to stand here and speak to strangers besides their mother and father or whoever. And I want to say that this is an amazing event, and what I like to do always is to acknowledge their hard work, which is certificates, and they're so tiny. I put them in these plastic cases of preserve. So what I'm asking you to do, if you haven't already done this, is to start a portfolio. All the pictures you take, put this next to it. So when they get older and they get our age, they'll look back and just smile, as well as you will shed tears, and grandparents too. So before they go, I want to thank, and I want to thank several people who stepped in at the last minute. Lily, where are you? Right here. Oh, there she is, okay. <laughs> Lily Mansfield. I asked her to help me out. Uh, we were supposed to have someone else to help me, and all of a sudden she just told me this morning she couldn't help me. So fortunately, Lily decided to come and help me, so I want to thank her. Where are you? Where are the two dads? Thank them, too, for doing our decoration and everything. Woo! Yeah, parents, what? Give yourselves a hand, because look what you did. Look what you did. Look what you did. And Mrs. Halverson and Mrs. Blakes, who popped in to see what we were doing here today. Let's give them a hand. 